attention, your attention please. This is Washington, D.C. Somewhere in this city is the central office of an organization known simply as Control. Its exact location is top secret. Its business is counter espionage. Very careful! I am very. And somewhere on the campus of an important university near Washington, a scientist is about to test a tiny scale model of a new instrument known as the Enthermo. An instrument so powerful it may alter the present structure of world power. Such a device, of course, would be a prime target for chaos, the international organization of evil. shielded by one of Control's top employees, a man who lives a life of danger and intrigue, a man carefully trained in every art of a secret agent. He has expert professional knowledge of every deadly weapon. He's adept at karate and jujitsu. <laughs> he speaks many languages. I can eat orange. <laughs> no! <laughs> Above all, he's a master of disguise able to assume a protective coloration for whatever terrain he encounters. In other words, he can melt into any background, go unnoticed as a part of any group. You've got to be kidding. Who are you? Maxwell Smart, a fellow student here to assess Professor Dante with his experiment. You'll excuse me. He's using a tough target for the experiment. Their glues are hard as steel. Where's Professor Dante? Hi there, Prof. <laughs> Where's Professor Selinka? She's to assist. She stopped to make a phone call. Phone call? Professor Selinka is absolutely dedicated to the success of the Inferno. I see, I see. All of you, over here. But the targets are like armor plate. Exactly. Maybe we better explain how it works. Simply. <clears throat> this tiny scale model is about to demonstrate how the basic principles of thermoreactive constructivity holds true. Actually, the dynamics of its catalytic, catalytic phenomenon are expressed in exact ratio to its molecular conclusion. Maybe you better explain it more simply. Can <laughs> <laughs> you explain it to him, Belinka? If thermal ground takes five molecules to the market, and thermal green takes... Okay, three. let's get on with the test. <laughs> I have a program for those cylinders of hardened steel. Make a few minor adjustments. Keep back in the line. Is everyone ready? Wow! It actually works. They've been incinerated. By the little scale model. This is terrible. It's terrible, Professor Dante? I was exactly hoping it wouldn't work. But why? This is a tiny scale model. Think of the destructive powers of full size and firm. Imagine it in the wrong hands. Yes. Think of, it. Think of such a weapon in the hands of chaos. No, no, it's unthinkable. The world does not have to contemplate a catastrophe of such magnitude because of control, the organization of good. Ever vigilant, the skilled secret agent for control is on guard, unnoticed, unsuspected. <laughs> anyway, let's get this back to the lab. Okay. Yes, I'll see to it. What is with this guy? Report to headquarters immediately. Hold it. Who is this? This is the chief. Who else would be calling you from your ship? There's no such thing as being too careful. Would you mind giving me today's password? This is an emergency, 86. There's no time for it. You'll have to further identify yourself. I'm telling you, 86. This if you is... can't further identify yourself, I'll accept today's countersign or secret code number. My life should depend on it. Get in here, Max, or I will personally tear you apart! Good enough for me, Chief. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs>
At first we thought it was just a police matter, but then we began to find clues pointing towards chaos, almost as if they were challenging us. I couldn't see anything to it, but my secretary, Miss Finch, happened to mention something that has me worried. She mentioned that Princess Ingrid of Scandinavia will be arriving in Washington today, and she is a blonde too. 86, do you have any questions? Mind if I see number three again? <laughs> the princess is traveling incognito because she wants to avoid newspapermen and security agents. But we've got to protect her. I don't see why Kadash would suddenly start kidnapping the blondes. Even Princess Ingrid. Neither did I. But Miss Finch has a lot more important what happens to But Miss Finch happened to mention something. She brought my attention to the NATO meeting that is going to take place in Scandinavia. If anything were to happen to the princess while she's in Washington, it would seriously compromise her government's position. Three blondes being kidnapped, and Princess Edgar being a blonde in the NATO meeting. It'd all be a coincidence, Chief. I know. And there's something fishy about it somewhere. We just can't ignore We can't just ignore what Professor I'm is well there. aware, 86. I have no intentions of taking any chances Please, with it. I come in, Chief. If it's important. I will in, Chief. But I did find out where Princess Ingrid will be staying. The Hotel Cranley. I don't see what difference it. The Hotel Cranley? She took a suite. But that's the other kidnappings. This settles it. 86, you are to drop everything else and guard Princess Ingrid. Chief, <laughs> 44 can't handle the thermal all by himself. And once Chaos discovers it's no longer in the experimental stage. Wait a minute, Max. You said no longer in the experimental stage? That's right. Professor Dante incinerated several globes of hardened steel this afternoon. But it's nowhere near completion. <clears throat> you mean the full size in thermo. What he used today was a miniature scale model. And the miniature incinerated steel? That's right. Chaos going to get their hands on an operational scale model? You don't have to spell it out, Max. The trouble is, so desperately understaffed. Chief, if you don't mind my mentioning, there are some special reasons for putting 86 onto the new case. But this is no time to reduce our guard on the Enthermal. <coughs> Maybe it's just a coincidence with all these blocks. My guess is that chaos is up to something around the hotel greatly. Yes, what? A fourth blonde has just been kidnapped. Ask where it happened. Where did... I see. Hodgkins. If we have any new equipment for 86, let's have it. You made a good guess. The fourth blonde was kidnapped just across the street from the Hotel Cranley. Couldn't be four coincidences. The reason for putting 86 onto the new case is in this folder. Uh, let's see. Smart, Smart, Salzburg, Saxton, hmm. Schwartz. This Schwartz is a real go-getter. Hold it, Chief. I can handle both cases. Think of how I handled two cases the last time. <laughs> Hodgkins, send in Schwartz. Schwartz is in Rangoon? What's he doing there? Oh, he's being held prisoner. <laughs> well, as long as he's on the job. Call it, Chief. I'll have 44 at the lab, and between us, I know I can swing it. Chief, I'm raring to go. Oh. <laughs> Maxwell Octavius Smart. <laughs> Perhaps this will have the information that you wanted, Chief. Very efficient. I could have anybody. Anybody. Ah, uh, this is why we wanted you in Princess Ingrid case. Yeah, the name does sound familiar. Five years ago, when the princess's father spoke at the United Nations, you saved his life. Oh, yeah. It's all coming back to me now. Of course, can't keep track of everyone's life who I've saved. <laughs> the princess was with her father at the time, so she will probably remember you. Probably would. Probably would. That's the, that's the point, Max. She will know and trust you. From what I hear, Chief, if you don't mind, it's 86 for no one. She hates being guarded. Max, I'm putting her safety in your hands. Don't worry, Chief. 
She'll be as safe as as the Enthermo. About the Enthermo. Tell Hoskins we're waiting for that equipment. Right away. About the Enthermo. I'm assigning another agent. Chief, you can't do that. To assist you. You really think I need assistance? I'm thinking of all that's involved here. If I could, I'd put even more agents on it. There's something you're not telling me about these cases, Chief. Call it a hunch. That's all. I'm a hunch chaos is mounting some sort of major effort. And if they are, you will be our front lines. You'll be exposed to every kind of danger imaginable. And loving it. <laughs> there was a teletype this morning that Mr. Big dropped out of Hong Kong ten days ago. Mr. Big, huh? If he really has risked coming to Washington to direct a chaos operation, but I don't suppose it's that serious. Chief, if you feel more comfortable with me taking on assistant, I'll go along. 99 will meet you at the bus station across the street from the Hotel Cranley. How will I know age 99? 99 will find you and use the following phrase. Wait, wait. Okay, I'm ready. New. Hold it. New. Is that with one Y or two? Two. <laughs> Okay, New York, York, Mets, Mets, got it. Win, oh. double, got it. Header, header, got it. New York, Mets, win, double, header. Very good. A miniature and thermo, incinerating steel. How does it work? Well, basically, it's a conversion of heat waves. In simpler more. terms, Max. Farmer Brown takes five molecules of the market. <laughs> that, gives, that gives me the general idea. Hoskins, I hope we have some useful new equipment. We got a few new surprises to chaos this time, Chief. <laughs> All I really want is my locker key. He's on a very serious mission, Hoskins. I heard that. It's childproof. <laughs> right. Let's not stop with a locker key. A very serious mission, Hodgkins. Two <coughs> missions. Oh, now, in that case, you're gonna wanna take this. Oh, swipe. Hold on, that's my that's my highlighter. Hold on. <laughs> you're gonna wanna take this fountain pen. Actually, it's a secret pellet carrier. The smaller pellet. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, it's in here. Okay, the smaller pellet, that one. And blow a 10 by 15 foot room to smithereens when activated by heat or thrown against them. <laughs> How about that, Chief? <laughs> My pens! Oh, uh, the larger pellet max. I suppose you know what this one's for? Larger rooms? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chaos has ways of making a man talk. And if things are really looking rough, this is your one ace in the hole. This pill, when swallowed, will bring instant, painless death in about 20 seconds. Do you have any questions? Just one. How do I get them to take it? <laughs> Let's get on with the rest of the equipment. Yes. Near cufflinks. Huh. Nice, but can I see some in gold? Really? Cheap. <laughs> These are serious threats, Max. I'd like to think we put our trust in the right man. No question about that, Chief. Is there? Get on with it. Now. Here's our most exciting development. The new 27F cigarette type. I am your best man, Chief. I'll prove it. I'll prove it all over again. It sights along the wick. Maybe a lot sooner than you think. It fires a 22 caliber bullet. And what? I said it.
control. Headquarters, we need a fishbowl. Repeat, a fishbowl. <laughs> yes, you got it. Yes, you were right. So, Max! You sound a little bit like... You're talking into the red phone! Yeah, it's crazy. It sounds exactly, exact, exact... The president? <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> now loading on Platform 7, leaving Washington, D.C. at 4.50 with stops in Baltimore, Philadelphia, and terminating in New York City. Bus now loading on Platform 7. It's embarrassing to walk into a bus station with someone listening to a transistor radio. It's off. I turned it off. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. That's all. You were just listening to a baseball game. But didn't you hear? Hear what? What happened at Shea Stadium in New York? Shea Stadium? Come on, we're gonna miss our butts. Mildred, the New York Mets just won a double header. So? Are you listening? The Mets! <laughs> Mr. Bay. Mr. Bay. <clears throat> no enemy in sight, my sector. Mary Wong reporting. No control agents, my sector. Sherman Wong reporting. Looks like an ordinary bus station to me. Betsy reporting. Betsy who? Betsy Wong reporting. That's better. All clear, Mr. Big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they've noticed you dropped out of Hong Kong. Ten days ago. <laughs> I wanted them to notice. Exposing yourself this way? They might even start suspecting you're here, in Washington. Oh, I want them to suspect. Mr. Bay, I'm sure you've noticed there's something peculiar going on at the control headquarters. I wouldn't say something peculiar. I'd say something fishy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Mr. Big. Suspected control agent getting out of taxi and approaching bus terminal. Leave him to me. That's what we're doing. All right, we're we'll operating the next hotel crappy phase of this chaos operation now. Move. The score was 
Ninety-nine to eighty-six. That's ridiculous. Baseball scores are never. Ninety-nine? Eighty-six. Say, you're a girl. You noticed. <laughs> Have you noticed anything suspicious, Ninety-nine? So many suspicious things. It makes me, yes, well, yes. suspicious. <laughs> Could you give that to me again, Ninety-nine? It's almost as though they're wanting us to suspect. They're beginning to slip up, that's all. They've kidnapped too many blondes out of this one area. That's what I mean. I better check in with 44th at university and then... Hold it! What is it? There's someone observing us. Take a look. Where? Don't turn around. Look at my mirror cufflinks. <laughs> Committee from Chaos. What are you going to do? You divert him while I use my locker key. <clears throat> Pardon me, sir, but could you tell me where I could find platform seven? I don't know anything. Anything at all. <laughs> Agent 13? Yes, 86. <laughs> Man behind me. Gun under his arm. Probably a Chaos agent. Put plan Y14 into effect. Me and Agent 99 will be coy. Okay? All right. Okay, we better get going. There's something very interesting I want to show you over here. This way? <laughs> this way. Oh, and you'll show me something very interesting. Very Look, 86, 
If you really wanted to switch places with me. No time, 44. I'm hanging up now and proceeding to the Hotel Kremlin. Consider yourself on intermediate alert. Oh, I'm not up for an intermediate alert. I'm not even Steady, up Steady, man. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Meanwhile, remember, American secret agents don't whimper. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Quite all right. 86, Mr. Smart, Max? Please, 99, we're on duty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 86, oh, of course, 86. You know, if you'd like to go to the university to help 44, I'm sure I can manage with Princess Ingrid. The chief figure is I'm the only one that can handle the princess. He must have tremendous confidence in you. Let's get over to the Kremlin. I have a hunch. Those full blondes are still in the vicinity. I just can't figure chaos on this one. She's changing her clothes. Get busy. Everything according to plan? Right. Your movement. <coughs> princess Ingrid, Princess, I'm your special maid. It's time to the hotel. Perhaps I can help you. Welcome, Princess Ingrid. It's a pleasure to serve you. And one more thing, Princess. If you can take a little time off from official business and enjoy yourself, there's a wild, crazy place out by the university. It's fabulous. Just jump in a taxi and say, the fortune can keep up. Switchboard? I'd like to be connected with another room here in the hotel. Would you ring 3203, please? Two or three. Phase three completed. Proceed to phase four. Betsy reporting. Betsy three. Wong, idiot. <laughs> Are you blondes? In here and sit down. There has to be some rational explanation. Are you finally going to explain? We're not making trouble. We just like to know what's happening. They're busy. Now, listen. Hey, can we at least have a radio or something? The one thing we also never have, we like the same music. I know. Each one of you was observed buying the same exact record album in the store across the street from the hotel. Everybody buys that same. He's looking now. He's terrific. If this has something to do with us buying that record album, you might as well go after every other girl in town, too. Maybe it's some kind of publicity stunt. It's not a publicity stunt. But I do have a copy of the record, if you care to hear it. If we care to hear it. Sure be better than standing at these walls. Okay. Agent 99. We've been a... No, 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 no. 
We've been assigned to escort you around Washington. Where did you want to take me? Well, first, I thought we could see some libraries and shrines. Libraries? Shrines? Um, famous monuments? <laughs> uh, no, absolutely not. Be careful, 86. Um, <clears throat> well, <laughs> what would you like to do then? I just told some place I'd like to go to. There, that's the place. The Fortune Cookie Club? It sounds like fun. I have never heard of the place. Never heard of it? Look, look at this. Even the National Plaza about it. And this leaflet? Do you want to let us dance this music till dawn? A place for college kids, Princess. Have some crackers and we'll talk about an interesting itinerary. Who has more fun than college kids? Oh, have fun. Yeah, man, so Max, <laughs> there's something in this cracker. In it? A bit of paper. Why would there be a fortune cookie here? Listen. For the time of your life, come to Never the... Never mind, I can guess. Right. Oh, Max, this is irresistible. We must go. There's something <laughs> wrong, 86. Or the hotel Kringley owns a piece of the fortune cookie club. Right. I'll entice her into going somewhere else. Max, really? She's pretty excited. Leave this in the capable hands of Maxwell Smart. <clears throat> Princess, the fortune cookie club is out. We're going to go see some real swinging places. <laughs> <laughs> First, we'll go to the Washington Monument. Then, the Smithsonian Institute. Wow. I see. Uh, Agent 99, I'd appreciate it if you get my green book. You'll find it in one of the puzzles. Yes, so, of course. Now, Max, describe the places we'll visit. I want to visualize them. Well, let me think how to begin. It's What's just... happening? With these on, I can't hear a thing. Keep them on. We're about to start the record. Our buggy 201 coming in loud and clear. Everything is exactly on schedule. Let's just stand by the record track. First, we'll visualize that fascinating place, the Smithsonian. Think of early airplanes, antique automobiles, aging century weapons, out of date typewriters. Princess, are you seeing it? I couldn't find any green. I'm telling you, Princess, just thinking of all those antiquated museum pieces, my heart starts thumping. She's gone, 86, she's gone! Gone? That's impossible. 86, the princess! Maybe she just stepped out the hall. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, no, she isn't there. It's ready with the record of it. Watch you for your signal, Mr. Bay. Would you want to connect me with room 201, please? You don't suppose chaos could have... She went of her own accord. What makes you think that she would have... There was no green coat. She slipped out to the fortune cookie club. You're a crossable, freckle-faced kid. Now we'll have to slip out. We'll have to... Hello? <coughs> Maxwell Smart. Speaking? I mean, uh... Who did you want? <laughs> Pay attention. I'm sorry, pal. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I have no time... Not in a hurry, Smart. <clears throat> Listen, pal, I've talked to chaos agents before, and if you think that you can... Smart, you're talking to Mr. Bid. Mr. Big? Mr. Big? But you can't be Mr. Big. Mr. Big's in Hong Kong. I was 10 days ago. This is bad trouble. We better make a dash for the fortune cookie club before he starts right, to. Right, right. <clears throat> Sorry, Big, can't talk now. But I can pencil you in for Tuesday. Get my computer. Didn't go into the university who's topping off the fortune cookie club? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, that's exactly. You're 99 to say exactly where you are for one hour. Or else. <laughs> Never. And your cat wears army boots. <laughs> or else what? We retaliate against innocent hostages. You wouldn't. What hostages? I don't believe you have a single one. Hostages. Chaos has the four points. <laughs> That's the price, 86. Our mission is to protect Princess Ingrid and God the. You know. Sorry, big, but it doesn't work. Then listen while they're talking. All right, stop the record player. I want that singer coming through those earphones with plenty of volume. <laughs> Records on, Mrs. Big. Did you say torture? They. They once really used torture. You're not scaring us, big. Right? Right. Did it work? Of course it worked. Look at 
these girls out of here. Come on. Just as I was beginning to enjoy myself. <laughs> there was nothing you could do, 86. Nothing. Shame on Cass, that's like cheating. <laughs> Just sit quietly while I arrange to set you free. Come on, the others. Face five, 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 face five. from Control Headquarters. We appear to have an emergency developing and all agents are requested to keep in close touch with Headquarters until the situation is clarified. All departments are to remain on standby alert until further notice. Thank you. With our men so overextended, I don't like calling for even a standby alert, but I just don't understand that last communication from 86 and there's way too much at stake. Sir, he's on his way with 99 now. Was there anything special in his last communication? I'm sitting here bleeding for information. And when we finally unscramble the call from Smart, all he gives us is a couple of bare facts. First, Chaos has launched a major operation. And they're trying to kidnap Princess Ingrid, but don't worry. End quote. Guess what, Chief? The Mets really won a double header. Unquote. How about that, Chief? <laughs> Smart, what happened? Well, the way I see it, it must have gotten a little hit. <laughs> Nothing? 86, where is Princess Ingrid? It looks like a chaos trap. A chaos trap? Mr. Big is directing the operation himself. If it really is Mr. Big, then there's no doubt chaos is going all out. They decoyed Princess Ingrid <coughs> to the Fortran Cookie Club. Why didn't you go after her? We were pinned down, Chief. But it didn't matter. Mr. Big is good, but this time he was up against old 86. I'm going to go. Yes, and I did. <laughs> How are you pinned down? What did you do? I remembered something chaos didn't know. What's that? But I had another eight, almost on the spot. The only other agent is 44, and he's committed. He's guarding the... Max, have you done something with 44? Tell me, and tell me quickly, where is 44? I'm calling him right now. Stand by the alert emergency alert button, but don't press it till I tell you. Yes, Chief. 86 was under great pressure, Chief. Uh, I can feel it. I can feel what's coming. Favorite agent, good old 44. About time, 44. You heard anything from Princess Ingrid? Not yet, but not yet. <clears throat> but I'm willing to stay here as long as you need it, six. Give me that. 44, this is the chief. Good old, I mean, yes, chief. Who is on guard at Professor Dante's laboratory? I assume 86 had sent my relief. Surely there is someone on guard. We're investigating, 44. Stand by for further instructions. Yes, Chief. <clears throat> See, Chief, you've heard the cries of these Who? tortured girls, then... What tortured girls? The four kidnapped moths! I could risk that happening to Princess Ingrid, too. The report just in. The four wands were released on her. But I heard them. They fooled you! What possible reason would they... They want wanted you to pull 44 away from his post. Oh, 86. <laughs> tell me, and tell me fast. Who is 
guarding the Inferno? It's easy, but these girls were getting such terrible prize. Who is guarding the Inferno? We are guarding the Inferno. What was that? Who's them? Where'd they come from? Where did they go? Where'd they come from? Agents! <laughs> Chaos. This is Chaos speaking. They, they planted a two-way bug. That's right. And, and the Inferno? We have to thank you. We also have Princess Ingrid. She took the wrong cab when she left the hotel. Most ungallant of Mr. Smart to let her leave unescorted. And imagine our surprise, finding a perfect scale model of the most powerful weapon in the world, completely unguarded. You'll hear our terms later. In the meantime, our thanks to Maxwell Smart. <laughs> what are you looking for? The fountain pen with the suicide pellet? As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> Go right ahead. I can't. Why not? Have you lost your nerve? No, I've lost the fountain pen. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Control headquarters to all personnel. Control headquarters to all personnel. Full emergency alert was declared at 1600 hours. All procedures and regulations in accordance with condition flash red, now operational. Maximum security precautions mandatory. Oh, and any member of control encountering agent 86, that's 86, tell him to call headquarters. Over and out. Do it! Outrageous! Sorry, Ms. Zelenko. Professor Zelenko? Associate Professor. I just thought that there must be some clue you've overlooked. Professor Dante and I have been over this. It's the FBI, the CIA, the military intelligence, and the police. I'm not clear where you fit in. We're much more secret. <laughs> Obviously. Now, why don't you run along and let us get on with our work? What makes you say obviously? I have to assist Professor Dante. Assistant? Putting equipment away? So we can get to dinner? I see you are finally getting the idea. This seminar room is cleaner than we found it. You could perform an apodectomy. But we're getting a lot of mess from the classes before us. Not that I mind. So little trash getting in the trash can? We almost lost our scavenger service. You secret agents come up with anything yet? Who said we're secret agents? Oh, come on. You're like, obvious. <laughs> He said it. So much coming and going since yesterday. What's up? Why would we know? Even the secret agents don't know what's happening. That is frightening. There was a man hanging around, but he disappeared. What other man? I think his name was Smart. That's it, Max Smart. Him. An overage student, you know. One of those guys who never seem to graduate. <laughs> I'm curious. You think we're <laughs> secret agents, but not this this smart. Why is that? Well, when I asked Smart what's his line, he shot back, I'm a spy! <laughs> now what real secret agent would say a thing like that? <laughs> That's how Smart does it. He's so obvious, he's oblique. Wait till the chief gets his hands on him. I can't. I can't wait to see where he thinks is hiding. My hunch, Brazil. <laughs> Come in, Max. Hear my call. Oh, please. It's important. Come in. Come in. Wherever you are. What number are you calling, please? <laughs> the number I'm calling, I'm trying to reach, well, 86. <laughs> Max, what took you so long to answer? Well, have you ever tried taking out my shoe inside of a trash can? <laughs> a 
trash can. You think you have to hide from the chief in a rubbish bin. Who's hiding? Still on the job. But a rubbish bin. <laughs> have you come up with anything, 86? I have. Most college students are going to die of lung cancer. There's at least four <laughs> inches of cigarette butts at the bottom of this trash can. Oh, anything. <laughs> anything else? Something I can mention to the chief? I'll be seeing him in a few minutes. I'll be seeing him pretty soon myself. You have come up with something. Actually, the only other thing I found is this fortune cookie. Oh, uh, well, see what it says. Maybe it's good luck. Just some Chinese place putting out recipes. Listen, 86. I'm going to do something a little crazy, and you've got to know what it is. I want to show the chief, and I mean prove, that that anyone can make a mistake. Uh, you better tell me about it later. I better tell you right now. Right now I have company. In the rubbish bin. <laughs> Very well, I'll have to go ahead without telling you. Good luck, 86. Be a senior. Well, well, the sad man. Your two friends meant Zappo. Or maybe you were just talking to them with your size 11 and a half telephone. <laughs> Where are you having dinner tonight? None of Professor your... Professor Dante is my business. I am not accountable to some trash can eavesdropper. <laughs> for your information, I was looking for... I was looking, that's all. And what have you found? I found... the fortune cookie club. What? Uh, nothing, I found a fortune cookie, that's all. Well, what does it say? Uh, just some Chinese place... Wait a minute. That's no recipe. Let me see. Uh, I'll do it. <laughs> I see. Of course. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Trying to put on my shoe, if you must know. <laughs> this network newscast with the final question put to the president at his press conference today. When asked for their reaction to the unexpected postponement of the NATO conference by the host country, Scandinavia, the president replied that he expects the technical difficulties to be cleared up momentarily. The president put it stronger to me over this. He expects us to recover Princess Ingrid momentarily. Or the Scandinavians blow the lid off. Meanwhile, chaos is getting ready to blow stuff up with the Enthermo. 86 will stop them. I haven't seen or talked to that idiot since he ran out of here yesterday. Running out to do something. Until you said that, I didn't think things could possibly get any worse. Chief, he has a magnificent record. You told me yourself. He has a lot of fool luck going for him. That's all. Imagine, a trained agent who can't tell the difference between some girls who are... <coughs> some girls who are... <coughs> What's that? Listen carefully. <coughs> but it sounds like... I can't stand it! I just can't stand it! What do you think, Chief? Can't stand it? There's something terrible going on. You're killing me! You're just killing me! <laughs> You're leaving your desk and going! What do you mean? What are you talking about? I've got to find out. Well, you find out, I get your top secret folders. For your eyes only. Suppose uh, I was the chaos. Have you lost your mind? What's going on? <clears throat> Punchkins, switch the sound from the earphones to the loudspeaker. <laughs> Bring the blocks. Now you're going to explain, and I mean right now. Well, we have the four kidnapped girls here to take descriptions of the chaos personnel. Routine. What I want to know is... Well, I thought as long as they're here, why not recreate the conditions of the chaos trap? What you thought, if you could prove, I could be just as big an idiot as smart. All I meant to you was that any human... This now, is a crisis, 99. That you should keep your best agent on the job. Maybe he'll even get lucky again. Every time I start
start enjoying myself, someone pulls a switch. The way this record keeps coming up, it has to be publicity. Oh, don't be silly. When we used the earphone, they gave the predicted reaction. I heard. I'm getting so confused. Are you one of the good guys or one of the bad guys? What do you think? <clears throat> He's one of the good guys. He's just in a bad temper right now. We walked into the record store and all of a sudden, it's a federal case. With a little bit more luck like we had, it will reach the United Nations. Hodgkins, have the staff car take them home and make sure that these ladies are suitably thanked. Yes, what do you mean suitably? I don't know. Buy them a copy of that terrible record. Ah! Do you mean it? That would be totally groovy. <laughs> <laughs> this way, ladies. <laughs> I heard. I guess you are a good guy after all. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm sorry if this wasted even a few minutes of your time, Chief. But I think it demonstrates... Cut the nonsense, 99! We've been over what it demonstrates. And if you ever pull anything like that again... <coughs> yes, Miss Finch? Sir, 86 is on his way in. 86? Why hope he going to Brazil. He never. I don't know. A few more things go wrong, and I'll go to Brazil. <laughs> Chief, I want you to know that I agree. An agent who can't tell the difference between music and... Porter must be a complete idiot. Never mind, Max. Now let's but get I want to say it. Only a fool. An utter fool. Anyone can make a mistake, Max. <laughs> but such an incredibly stupid idiot. I said anyone. And the subject is dropped. You've been having a tough day today, Chief. <coughs> having to make all those terrible decisions without any help or advice from me. And loving it. But don't panic. I'm back. And everything's gonna be fine. What have you been up to? You probably call it hard work and shrewd deduction, but I just call it luck. <laughs> I knew it. A stroke of luck? I think I'm onto something. I'm dying here. Now, yeah, well, so is chaos. Chief, have you eliminated the bug they planted in here? A whole crew of technicians was up all night going over this office inch by inch. Wherever the bug was, it's gone. The next step, I'll need 99 as part of my cover. I don't like you not finding any bug. Neither do I. But I'm absolutely assured there's no bug here. These men know their stuff. Miss Finch, check the message center to see if anything is coming. Right away. If 13... Excuse you. If 13 and 44 have to report it, put out a call. Of course. 86, what are you doing? My portable bug detective. Supposed to show red if we're bugged. It's showing red. Then we're bugged. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't be silly. Let me see it. <laughs> Let me see it. First it was on. First it's on. Now it's off. Can't be right both ways. That is peculiar. What kind of um did you hear? We're bugged. Don't be silly. Yeah. There's some stuff. Let's get back to business. Right. Come on, 99. Okay. Max, you haven't told me your plan. Trust me, Chief. I trusted you yesterday. I had an off day yesterday. <laughs> off day? Oh, Chief, Miss, this bitch may help some news. Anything? A report from 13. He says I'll find it. Good. And 44? I'll find it too, sir. I don't like it. Why not? It's too quiet. We're fighting chaos, not the Apaches. So unless your sixth sense is giving off sparks, I'd like My to... My sixth sense is giving off sparks, Chief. Hey, it's only my portable bucket attack. On, off, on. Max, it's got to be out of whack. Control, calling chaos. Do you read me? Over. Control, calling chaos. Do you read me? Max, relax. Rest. Sit down. Control. All in chaos. Do you read me? Over. Control. All in chaos. All in. He's cracking under the strain. He needs sedation. A psychiatrist. Control. All in chaos. Do you read me? Over. Chaos answering control. Chaos answering control. We read you loud and clear. I repeat, we read you loud and clear. Chaos. Man, talk about a sixth sense. <laughs> That's right. impossible. There's no possible way. 
Chief. Nice of you to call us, Contrail. We were about to call you. We checked everywhere. Chief, we're fucked. <laughs> Don't worry about technicalities. All you have to do is get the message. Or what? Or else. Yeah, I was afraid of that. <laughs> now hear this. As soon as you pay the ransom, we will return the Enthermo. And Princess Ingrid? We hold her hostage. If the ransom is delivered as specified, she should be released too. How much do you want? One hundred million dollars. A hundred million? Dollars. And in small bills, please. Five stents, twenties, and some singles. <laughs> I could never get such a sum. It would take an act of Congress. Chaos appreciates your difficulty. We plan to help. We plan a practical demonstration of the Enthermo's enormous power and how effectively we can use it. Within a matter of hours, we'll destroy one of your most cherished national treasures. How's that for cooperation? One of our national treasures? You wouldn't dare. Within a matter of hours. And if you have difficulty raising the ransom, we'll build a full-scale endeavor and start on your state capitals. I've just been informed that you couldn't possibly build a full-scale endeavor without the help of Professor Dante. You're entirely right. Then don't make empty. But you see, we now have Professor Dante. You what? We have Dante. Confirmation should be along any minute from 13, perhaps even 44. They've got Dante, too. Don't worry, Chief. Remember, we've got lots of state capitals. <laughs> <laughs> Only one thing to worry about, raising that hundred million. And remember, small bills, fives, tens, twenties, and some singles. <laughs> I was thinking of the shrimp and the black beans. 
sauce. You're right, that is how they transmit. I wonder who checks on the international flow of fortune cookies. Hmm. This must be a chaos front. Notice anything special? I noticed something a little peculiar about the fourth Chinese waitress. <laughs> what did you notice as peculiar? I noticed that the fourth Chinese waitress is a blue-eyed blonde. <laughs> Like the basic plan. Synchronize timers. Plan. At 02 minutes, you get up and use the telephone, but actually try and look in the kitchen. At 03 minutes, I try and look in the basement while you create a diversion complaining about sanitary conditions. At 04 minutes, I come back from the basement, and at 05 minutes, this might put us a little behind schedule. <laughs> What I love are those undercooked pea pods, water chestnuts, mm. bamboo shoots. Mm. The kitchen is closed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Would you mind holding a finger over the knot? Oh, that's all. Oh. Is that quite painful? Excruciating. If the rope was a bit thinner, I could make it agonizing. You know, maybe next time. <laughs> Proceed to page 15. You. Guard the prisoners. You start preparing to be on for Mr. Big. <laughs> Did you hear 86? Mr. Big! We hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, for the first time, I think I'm afraid. The first time ever or the first time today? The first time since I started working with you. Remember 99? A coward is only a frightened man who's scared to be brave. A brave man is only a coward who isn't scared of being frightened. Thank you, Max. I'll remember that. Well, 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 well. <laughs> so we meet at last. We did not expect it in delightful pleasure, or to have the illustrious Maxwell Smart as my guest. I see that what your organization lacks in strategy, it more than makes up for in loveliness. Why, thank you. <laughs> yes, he was talking about me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> May I ask the name of our, well, host? Well, of course. I'm Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> you are... It's on his dossier. Oh. I talk French enough. Oh. <laughs> Quite useful in Chinese. Yeah. Okay. With my psychiatrist, rest his soul, he now sleeps among the stars. But anyway, we've planned an amusing little divertisement that will shock and horrify you as will every American. In a matter of hours, you'll prove that your government is defenseless against the power of chaos. What are you going to do? Destroy the Statue of Liberty. Maybe you should get a different psychiatrist. <laughs> We'll come upon the statue in a way that no one expects, and then activate the Inferno. We know all about your plan. Would you name even one detail? Certainly. You plan to come upon the statue in your speedboat, a way that everyone expects. What? Listen here, my charming little friend. At this very moment, there are seven Coast Guard cutters getting ready to converge on your speedboat. Would you believe that? Seven. I find that pretty hard to believe. Would you believe six? <laughs> Mr. Smart, but I'm not, as your country is about to discover. If chaos takes this step, we retaliate. Ha! We have the Inferno, and we have Professor Dante. Suppose we get help from Dante's assistant and build an Inferno of our own. Dear, would you come in, please? Hey, pay attention, Big. I'm talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Why continue with this senseless escalation? All we'll achieve is a balance of terror. You with your Inferno, and we with. we with. Zelenka? That's right. You're with, you're with. Rise again. How was it you said you wanted the hundred million? <laughs> <laughs> we'll communicate the details right after our demonstration. Not that they'll matter to you. Professor Dante has received the business. He is being brought up now. 
No wonder it was so easy for them to kidnap the professor. And that trap was set for us here. She saw me with the fortune cookie. I'll be frank, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> You're hurting me! Professor Dante is our guest. He's going to build this full-scale inferno, and we're going to give him anything he wants. All I want is some paradise chicken and to go home! <laughs> well, I'm afraid you can't go home. The government will be sending someone to look for me. Just you wait! Uh, they already sent someone to look for you, and here they are. <laughs> They're my guests, too. Hello, Professor. Uh, the service here is terrible. It, your captives? Thanks to your ex-assistant, yes. Time's getting <clears throat> short. <laughs> <laughs> Say that word one more time in my presence. You'll be short of a job. Yes, Mr. Big. Now we'll wait. Oh, yes. You see, no one is coming for you. So be realistic. Cooperate. Thanks for sure gone for the Italian restaurant. <laughs> Let's call Professor Dante to his room, then move at once to phase, uh, what do we have now? 355. I better make sure the consumer is ready to move. You push off and... Where's my watch? Oh, here, here's mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this way. Push off in six minutes. We're in a hurry. Sir, they're going to use your inferno to blow up the Statue of Liberty! What? Statue of Liberty? Come on, I have to see you to your room. Look at Great Rangers! The first of America! Five minutes and forty seconds. It says, bring me your weak, your poor, your hot. You got it! <laughs> what about us? Are you just gonna leave us here? Under a very special guard. Actually, this is one of my most favorite parts of the entire operation. Come meet your prisoners. You're going to love this too. The blue-eyed blonde Chinese. Recently from Scandinavia. Princess Ingrid. Uh, what's your name? Ingrid Wong. Wong? Your name isn't Wong. Where are you from? Where was your home? Should I answer? Go ahead. Hong Kong. <laughs> what have you done to her? Part brainwashing, part hypnotism. It's a new technique I developed. So good I'm leaving her to guard you. Isn't that delicious? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's gone, Princess. You can drop the pose. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you would take a pretty big shot, Max. Any chance of getting free? Not the slightest. Don't even try. She's our only chance. Well, that possibility sure wasn't worrying Mr. Big. Don't talk so much. <clears throat> I think our time is running short. <coughs> Say there, guard. Smorgasbord! What's that? Uh, Scandinavia, Stockholm, Oslo, Copenhagen. Shanghai, thank you, thank you. Formosa. Um, think of, think of snow, glaciers, skiing down a mountain, pine trees, ice skating. What about it? Well, doesn't it stir memories? A young girl growing up in the North Country. <laughs> <laughs> Stories of Vikings, Eric the Red, the Midnight Sun. Keep at it. Fjords, uh, Northern Lights. Give some ketchup, okay? And sardines. <laughs> I'm from Hong Kong. That's where you point that thing. You're not from Hong Kong. You're a Scandinavian princess. I once saved your father's life, and now you can save all of our lives. Princess, we've only a few minutes left to stop that madman. I don't understand. It's so confusing. Princess! Ah, oh, what's the use? I can't reach her. But, Literally. <laughs> but you are in your beginning. Hopeless. I simply don't understand these new methods. Brainwashing? Hypnotism? I guess I belong with the other antiques in the Smithsonian Institute. Smithsonian Institute? What about it? Why do we have to go there? <laughs> What's wrong with the Smithsonian? Max, really? Max, you broke through. Princess, we'll take you anywhere you want to go. But there's one thing we have to do first. What's that? Save humanity. <laughs> Deactivated in 
room, we'll try and cover you. Dead feet, great! Uh, light! I need light! Up here! Tip of the house for four minutes by dash! You didn't come this way! On the other door! Now, circuit B the Fester Coils, or is it circuit C? Whoops. At last! My greatest and most favorite dream! Eliminating Maxwell Smart. Well, I always respect a man with ambition. <laughs> So let's not do that. Wait, you've got the thermo! In the back, you've got the thermo! Uh, we can do it as quick as that! I've got the thermo! Wait! This should be simple! If Farmer Brown takes five molecules to the market, and Farmer Green takes three! Uh. You said too much about your little switch, Mr. Smart. Instead of pressing activate, thanks to you, I will now press self-destruct. Wow! The Coast Guard cutters destroyed! Thanks to Smart! No, the Chaos Speedboat. Ah! Thanks to Smart! I did not switch the controls! No, Professor, but Mr. Big thought that you did. Oh, I see! Look at the whole burn. It's like a blazing inferno. That's what I meant to call it! Dante's Inferno! 86? How could you be so sure Mr. Big would receive you? Because I located their bug. Where? Here, this little pin shaped like a spider. It's just costume jewelry. That's the bug? Remember when she walked out of the room again and my portable bug detector came on again? I took one look at her pin and I knew that that's the bug. It's costume jewelry, like I said. Shame on you. <laughs> Chief Max 
him to give the good news to the president. That's a good idea, 99. Better call him right away. Well, you insist. No, Max, not the red one. I'd rather use this one anyway, for sentimental reasons. <clears throat> Hello, sir. This is Maxwell Smart of Control. I'm happy to report that our mission is accomplished. Professor Dante is rescued, Professor Zengren is saved, and then Thermo is destroyed. And I take great pride in saying that the forces of darkness have once more been foiled in their attempt to extinguish the bright torch of liberty. What? Oh, sorry, I remember. <laughs> <laughs>